How's it going guys? It's Blink. I've got five brand new glitches to show you. I'm going to leave the best glitches to the last, so make sure you watch the whole video. And this first glitch lets you use the object dropper for an unlimited height. Now what I mean by this is if you place, for example, garbage cans, let's say you're trying to get on top of this roof here. Now the game will only let you place four because you then reach the maximum height. So you might think, that's fine, I'll just climb on top of the top garbage can and I'll use the object dropper again to place more. But you can't, because on Skate 3 for some reason, when you're standing on an object, you can no longer use the object dropper. It doesn't matter if you jump or anything. Well, all you need to do is set a session marker and then run somewhere where you can see your tower. And literally, as soon as you open the object dropper, go to your marker. So press L1 and up. And as you can see now, I'm standing on top of the highest garbage can where I set my marker. And the camera has stayed where I was standing, but the object dropper itself is actually over where my skater is. So using this, I can now make another one, a fifth one, and a sixth one if you want. But because I'm using them like steps, I've just made a fifth one. And just do the same thing, run over here, go to your marker at the same time that you open your object dropper. And now you can place another two garbage cans and then you should be high enough to get onto the roof. Now there's not really any height restrictions to this glitch. As long as your tower stays up and doesn't fall over, you can use it to get on top of the tallest building in the game as long as you can see your tower. So yeah, it's a pretty nice glitch. It's useful if you're not very good at launch glitches or speed glitches or finding a way to get on top of high buildings without objects. Anyway, moving on to glitch number two. This is a skate park glitch. It will allow you to take any graphic from any skate park that you may have downloaded and you can insert it into any other skate park. It doesn't matter if it's a brand new park or a park you've already built or a park you want to build. So as you can see, this is a brand new park. I'm using a save file which hasn't got any graphics on it at all. So my only options were off and local. And literally, you don't need to delete your patch for this at all. You can do this on Xbox One. You literally go to Skate Parks, My Parks. Now, you just need to make sure that the park which has the graphic you're trying to steal, that park needs to have DLC, and you need to delete your DLC. So when you try to go to the park, you'll get the menu pop-up asking if you want to install DLC. Just press No, and that's it. That's literally the glitch, that's how easy, it, how easy it is. I can't believe I haven't found this one method sooner. So here I am at the Nike Park. I've loaded the park which has DLC and a graphic I want to steal. I press no and now I've got the graphic from that park. So if I want to get the sticker bomb here, I literally go down to my sticker bomb park which has DLC which I've not got installed. And you can see the Pier 7 sign has now changed to a sticker bomb sign. So that's a super easy glitch. Steal any graphic from any park and use it in your park. Now moving on to glitch number three. This is a way to load parks which has DLC even though you've not got DLC installed. So this is a park that Carbolic made and he made a video about it. It's a haunted house park. Now as you can see when I tried to go there the game doesn't let me because I don't have DLC. But I found this glitch which will let you go there regardless of whether or not you have a DLC. And all you need to do is go to an online free skate. So I'm at a free skate right now at the skate school. Now what I'm going to do, you can see the countdown timer behind me. 3, 2, 1. When the screen goes black, you want to sign out. So just disconnect your internet or sign out of Xbox or PSN. Close the menu and the game will now put you in single player in the park. So once it loads, here I am. I'm now in Carbolic Park. What the game has now done is it's removed all of the DLC items, but it's loaded the park anyway. Now it doesn't let you edit the park. So if you want to edit it, all you need to do is save the park and then just go to that park and then you can edit it. Edit it. So here I am, I've saved the park, I've reloaded it. Here's Carbolic's map that he made. And now I'm skating around. 
without any DLC in a DLC pack. Obviously any item which was DLC will be missing, it will just be invisible. But yeah, if you've downloaded any perks when the skate servers are up and you've never got a chance to play them because they contain DLC, you can do that glitch. This uh, fourth glitch is a really cool new bounce glitch. Now if you go to any online session in Skate 3, it doesn't matter if it's spot battle or whatever, if you look at my board, you'll notice that out of bounds, like, the entire ground is fake. So your board will fall through the ground. If you go to Campus Cruiser in a death match, sorry, a death race even, <laughs> and literally follow where I'm going, you'll come to a house, and it looks like EA, for whatever reason, they made the floor transparent here, but it's inbounds, and what it results in is a really cool launch glitch. So I'm here with my friend who actually found this glitch, Loyal Notes, and as you can see, you do get pretty high, and it's very easy to do. So this doesn't work in a free skate, this only works in a death race at Campus Cruiser. Just come to this house, and I'll show you in a second how to do this glitch, it's really fun. So yeah, you can get quite a bit of height, you can get a lot higher than that. And all you need to do is run into this sort of red brick area, you will then fall through the ground. And you literally press triangle or Y to get on your board. And for some reason you will then bounce. And sometimes you bounce low, sometimes you bounce high. And I'll show you the next one I think it is where I bounce ridiculously high. So yeah, this one is like late back foot hill kind of ridiculous height. So yeah, big thank you to Loyal Notes and his friend. I will link the video that they made of this glitch in the description. Now onto the fifth and final glitch. You may be wondering what the hell you're watching right now. Well, it's actually a backwards glitch and I reversed the video and what it makes for is some really weird looking skateboarding because my skater is facing backwards. but So basically he's facing the correct way because I've reversed the video, but all of the tricks are backwards. So to do this glitch, you need to first of all be in regular stance now you need to do an ollie or a 360 flip and you need to turn just over 90 degrees to the left with both sticks and then you need to turn back to the right using just the left stick. So both sticks to the left just past 90 degrees and then just the left stick back to the right. And what should happen is the game confuses its stance and because you've gone past 90 degrees what should happen is your skater will actually turn around and you'll be skating the wrong way. Now you can't push like this, but you will be facing the wrong way. You can crouch, you can manual, you can nose manual, you can stand in an ollie or nolly position. And yeah, it's just a fun little glitch, especially like I say, if you do reverse the video, you can make some really confusing glitches, uh, tricks. Anyway guys, that's all for today. I'll have a new video out in a few days showing a really cool glitch I just found and I'll see you all then.